Hi, this is Tanya with Tangle Art Studios. Today we're going to be drawing Weifel Power. Weifel Power is a pattern that I introduced at a class at the library the other night, and we kind of struggled with it. So I want to show you a different way, a different technique of creating the columns. Uh, so we're going to start with a base grid here. Again, this isn't an exact process. We want them to be approximately square, not overly concerned about the perfection of it all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a dot in two corners and then skip down and put two dots in the next two corners and then up. And I guess technically I need one more row here. So we do two dots here, and then we'd repeat the same process. So two dots, down two dots, up two dots, down two dots, two dots, down two dots, up two dots, down two dots. All right, once we have the dots drawn, we're going to draw an arc, and we're going to connect the outer edges of the dots with the arc that we draw above them. Kind of looks like an eyebrow above a couple of eyes or you know, however you want to look at it. But we're basically just connecting the outer edges of the dots. I'm doing this with my graphite pencil. Um, technically we should probably be using ink right now. But this is more of a tutorial on, on getting the the layout correct, so I'll probably do the whole tutorial in pencil today. Now, once we have all of those arcs drawn, what we're going to do is we're going to take the inside of this dot and connect it around this dot. So again, it's, it's another arc. It's real similar to the arc that we drew here. Um, so we're going from the inside of the dot to the inside of the dot around and down, around and down, inside to inside, inside to inside, inside to inside. It's a very repetitive process. That's part of the joy of the art. Now, same concept, different direction. We're going to go from the outside of this dot to the outside of this dot. So around and in. Around and in. You can already see the pattern forming here as we connect the, the dots with the arcs. So technically this one's um, going off the sheet over here and it would connect down to that direction. And the same here. So now you can see the Y design. Now the, the cool thing about this pattern is it has that basket weave effect where this pattern goes behind this one and it, it's actually three different levels if, if you look at it. So I'm going to add some color here so that we can kind of see. Um, and I guess, let's see. Um, I missed a couple. Anyway, um, this would be one level, and this is one level, and then this is another row, but then this one goes back and connects with this one. So you can see that this circle kind of comes around and this design actually connects down here and goes behind. Sorry, definitely not coloring this for aesthetics. Um, 
Anyway, so you can see the different levels, and, and it's always fun to color it uh, and make each one different. So you could even do a different pattern in in each um, separate, I don't know what they're called, strand? Oops. Um, and that's the, the concept behind Weifel Power. It's a lot easier when it's drawn on a grid. If you're drawing it in ink, then obviously you can erase the grid from behind it or if you draw the grid light enough and then create tangle patterns over top of it, it will just disappear and you don't even have to worry about it. So, there you have it. Wifel Power.